Here's your NBC 26 News update. I'm Nina Sperano. Less than an hour after Wisconsin's Republican-controlled legislature repealed Democratic Governor Tony Evers' statewide mask mandate, the governor issued a new mandatory mask mandate. Wisconsin would have become one of only 10 states without a mask mandate. A new report says the pandemic has led to a nearly 82 percent reduction in tribal gaming payments to the state of Wisconsin. Today, the Wisconsin Policy Forum released an analysis that found tribal gaming payments to the state's general fund were only $5.3 million in the fiscal year 2020. That's down from $29.1 million a year earlier. And you might feel the need to let your car run a little longer this weekend, but Green Bay police say to be careful. They're seeing an increase of cars being stolen when the owner has it running to get warm or the keys being left inside. It may be tempting to do that today and to the next couple of days because it's going to be cold out there. Let's get a check of our weather with Chief Meteorologist Cameron Morland. Cam? Well, Nina, the cold air is going to come in later on tonight, but today we're dealing with the snow. We've got a winter storm warning for most of the viewing area. The southern counties are under a winter weather advisory. We've had a light mixture throughout the morning, but now snow has overspread pretty much all of northeast Wisconsin, and it's coming down at a pretty heavy clip in Green Bay. Less than a half an inch so far, but in Seymour, almost four inches of snow has already fallen. And we're going to continue to see the snow fall heavily at times as we head through the evening. The highest totals will be just to the north and west of Green Bay. Six to as much as 12 inches of snow is possible here. The highest totals far to the north and west. We'll see lesser amounts here south and east of Lake Winnebago, where we've had less snow and warmer temperatures up to this point. Drive safely today. If you have to go out, have a great afternoon, everybody.